The age of the Finnish sauna is estimated to be a couple thousand years. Lavalta sauna is a national passion that has been rooted in the Finns from ancient times. One reason has always been to get rid of diseases and illnesses. The bathers scrubbed bodies with different methods using plants and sauna vihtas, meaning bath whisks. Throughout history the Finnish people have cared for their health in the sauna. The Finns have had a custom to take treatments in connection with sauna. Familiar Finnish treatment forms have been massage, cupping, setting dislocations and bathing with plants. Natural healers are still in Finland and they know the original treatment methods, but there are not very many of them remaining. One of the most famous natural healer was living in Finland. She was a doctor of natural medicine, Eva Koponen. She treated Finns in the cleansing sauna for about 40 years. She passed away recently, but her knowledge is remaining and greatly appreciated. The cleansing sauna is Eva's development. According to her, the body receives healing qualities from both natural plants and the Finnish sauna. The cleansing sauna is started just like any other normal Finnish sauna. The difference is in the plants. The sauna is warmed up to 60 to 80 degrees Celsius. And before going into the sauna, a dish full of plants gathered from nature is placed on the sauna bench. The plants cleanse and give natural power to people in the sauna during bathing. Every plant has its own cleansing property. The beneficial effects of the sauna increase when a traditional sauna vihta, the bath whisk, is used to relax important muscle groups. Cleansing effects can be intensified with foot baths, which may be performed either during or after the sauna. It's recommended to bath in the cleansing sauna for about 20 minutes. All you need is a sauna and some clean forest areas from which the plants can be gathered. Nothing else is really needed except for a little motivation and some common knowledge about plants. The plants are collected from as broad of an area as possible and only few plants or branches are taken from one location. It helps to preserve nature. Plants which grow on the side of main roads often contain toxins, so they should be left alone. Regular plants and tree branches can be used in the cleansing sauna, but not all plants are suitable for this purpose. For that reason, only the plants and tree branches, which are familiar and known, are gathered. The cleansing sauna can be started with just a few plants. Branches from the alder, pine, birch and spruce trees are first group to be collected. Alder open pores. It's good for the skin and help rashes. Alder can also be used in the sauna vihta, the bath whisk, along with birch and other trees. Pine has an effect on breathing. The invigorating and fortifying influence of the birch tree is also familiar to the Finns. Birch is an all-purpose cleansing and strength rendering tree, which also favorably affects the immune system. Cleaning with the spruce tree is a quick process. Spruce twigs remove chemical impurities such as mercury. The four trees mentioned are enough for the cleansing sauna, but if you want to use more plants, there is a sufficient variety to choose from. Other suitable trees for cleansing sauna include mountain ash, tamarock, oak, maple, aspen and the apple tree. Mountain ash is a very effective general cleanser, which can be also used in the sauna vihta. Branches from the tamara cleanse and give strength. Oak leaves cleanse the whole body and are good for the memory areas in the brain. Maple cleanses the liver and entire body and strengthens pancreatic functions. 
Leaves from apple trees absorb poisons and cleanse and strengthen the body. Few other plants suitable for the cleansing sauna are hazel, blueberry plants, lingonberry plants, cloudberry plants, black currant plants, and fireweed. Branches from hazel calm the nerves, strengthen muscles, and give power. Blueberry twigs and leaves provide insulin, which is stored in the body. For that reason, they should be only used when needed for certain periods and only four branches at a time. Lingonberry leaves and twigs cleanse by strengthening the immune system. Cloudberry leaves are also very effective in cleansing. Just a few leaves are needed at one time. Black currant leaves open pores on the skin and gets rid of poisons. Normal fireweed is not suitable for the cleansing sauna, but it can be added to the foot bath. The Finns have traditionally used sauna vihtas made from birch branches. Few people know that branches from willow, alder, aspen or mountain ash trees can also be added to the traditional sauna vihta. When putting the branches together, the shiny surfaces of the leaves should be all facing in the same direction. Remove extra branches and leaves from the area where the sauna vihta will be held and even out the base. The long birch sprout or a long flexible branch can be used to hold the sauna vihta together. You can also use rubber bands or maybe rope instead. The plants need a dish in which they can be taken to the sauna bench. Start by searching for three rocks approximately fist size and place them in the bottom of the dish. The rocks are covered with sphagnum moss and water is added to the dish until both the rocks and the moss are submerged. Filling the sauna dish with plants is started by using larger sized branches. The other plants are placed in the gaps of the branches in a bouquet-like style. A well-constructed sauna dish is beautiful to look at and brings joy to the mind. As you are taking the sauna, water for the steam is thrown to the sauna stove in the same way as when taking a normal sauna. If a food bath is made, the feet are placed in the wash basin. All muscle groups are hit with the sauna vihta. It can also be kept for a while on tight muscles or on sore spots. According to old Finnish customs, a sauna is taken once a week. This is also good advice for the cleansing sauna. In connection with taking a sauna, caution needs to be taken with hydration because large quantities of water are dissipated from the body when sweating in the sauna. For that reason, an ample water supply needs to be provided. It is worthwhile to examine the sauna dish and sauna vihta after the sauna. Which plants have darkened the most? Have some of the plants retained their green color? Which plants from the whisk have turned brown? The stronger darkened plants have absorbed the most impurities from the skin. At this point it should be remembered what impurities different plants cleanse. If alder branches have darkened, pores in the skin have been cleaned. If spruce branches have darkened, the chemical poisons have been excreted. If the mountain ash becomes brown before the birch, then the body should be cleansed again right away. If both the birch and the mountain ash are both the same color after bathing, then the body is in good balance. Aspen is good for testing. If aspen turns brown, the body needs to be cleansed again quickly. It is okay to use aspen branches again and again until they quit turning brown. When the plants have not turned brown anymore and they just merely dry, then the body has sufficiently cleansed. The plants that have been in the cleansing sauna need to be disposed of by burning them instead of returning to nature. Sitting next to the fireplace is relaxing and comfortable after the sauna. Have a nice time in Finnish cleansing sauna.